Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading for, I think it's the 10th of June 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So let's pull an angel answer card and see what we have for the day. Message for the day message for the day I thought that was going to fall out then but it didn't message for the day please we have meditation brings answers so let's see what this is about I am using the radiant wise spirit tarot deck I think it's called okay what do we have for the day please we have the Five of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles here. The Chariot. The Hanged Man. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck we have the Five of Swords. This feels like someone's getting an answer. Uh, we have the five of one, some kind of conflict or battle. So let's clarify. Clarify the five of ones, please. Clarify the five of ones. We have the nine of cups. Fighting to get your knight, Nine of Cups, maybe. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Sun. Yeah, there's a strong energy here of what you've been battling on. There feels like there's some news or communication coming in where you get your wish, your dream. And it's on the back of a battle, uh, disagreement. There's a feeling here of getting answers. I mean, Germany Spirit will use the card in the deck that's slow, closely linked in words to what this situation is. And sometimes I don't pull oracle cards, but there's a feeling here of someone's getting news and it's good news good news you're getting your wish your dream uh, because you're getting what you want what you've battled for you're getting your wish your dream now the five of wands can also be to do with competition uh, if it's not a battle because this could be I mean it could be a legal thing it could be battling with somebody to get an outcome here whatever that would be um, but it could also be for some of you to do with competition if you've been competing for something there's a strong energy of you're going to get your wish. There's news coming in. And the sun is good news, celebration, joy, happiness. Really with the Knight of Swords, this is good news and positive change. Big, happy news. So there's a strong energy here. You know, the Nine of Cups is a celebratory energy. A strong energy here of, of getting what you want. What you've competed for or com been in battle about you're getting what you want. The hanged man is just waiting. For some of you, it could well be a finance thing with the queen of pentacles or waiting to embrace healing, you know. Um, it could also be to do with the queen of pentacles energy. If the queen of pentacles holds opportunity and you're wondering whether she's going to offer it to you or not, 
again, male or female energy. This could be somebody in business, a business leader as well. This could be a period of waiting, waiting. But as an energy, the, the hanged man can be just waiting, waiting for things to play out. With the Queen of Pentacles, it could be this battle is to do with something financial, could be money, career, financial. And it's, it's an answer that's coming your way. We have the Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry, uh, and the Two of Pentacles. It could go either way. It could go either way. I'm waiting. I don't know what the outcome's going to be. I'm overthinking it, you know, round and round and round in my head. It's become a thing now. Uh, obsessively wake up thinking about it think about it through the day think about it before bed even keeps me awake at night you know that can be the energy of the nine of swords because there's just uncertainty about what's going to happen here and for some of you the the two of pentacles it could well be a money like i said it feels like a, something to do with money career assets of some kind The pentacles can be of the conscious world, so can link with money, career, finances, naturally. They can link with health, they can link with foundational relationships, you know. So it feels in this energy here, there's been a battle. I mean, for some of you, it could have been a health thing if you were waiting for the outcome of a health battle and you've just been waiting to see and there's been a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, waiting to see if you've won or you've been victorious. That could be the energy here. I feel more it's to do with either some kind of battle or com something that you've been competing for. Um, but nevertheless, there's a strong energy if there's good news coming your way, good news, celebration. Uh, the Nine of Cups is getting your wish. Someone is definitely getting their wish after competing for something for some of you it feels like fierce competition if that's the case for others of you it can be the energy here of, of some kind of battle because the seven of pentacles is the energy of persevering persevering on something it's been frustrated that it's not been going as quickly as you wanted it to uh, but hoping that you know, you've persevered enough. The, the chariot is the energy of victory. So there's a strong indication of your perseverance pays off. There's victory and success here over challenge. This is a card of winning, triumph, victory. But it's not been easy. And similarly, that's the message of the Five of Swords as well. It can be a hard won victory. But there are winners and losers here. And recognizing that sometimes that's what the situation dictates. You know, uh, sometimes to, to realize our ambitions, there has to be winners and losers. But this can also be an energy here of if there's been some other battle where you were hoping the outcome is, is going to be successful. It does feel in that energy. It's successful. Just a lovely reading. But there's a strong recognition of it's been really stressful. There's been periods of waiting here. And finally, some kind of outcome that is good news. And you get your wish. You get what you want. So all's well that ends well, right? Sometimes sometimes the outcome is, is important. Or the most important thing. Final message for the day. Final message. We have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. This just feels like staying grounded. Stay grounded throughout this time because this can just run away with itself if we're not careful. So it might well be for some of you that you're being told to just ground yourself, go outside, get perspective, 
in our stay rooted and grounded throughout this what I feel is kind of like some kind of up and down time for you but there's a feeling of it's all going to be worth in the end however difficult and stressful this has been it's all going to be worth it Yeah, <laughs> we have magical gateway. It takes courage and, courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yeah, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. It just feels like you can step through to a brand new beginning. You can finally step through a new door because this is the end of a stressful situation. For some of you, like I said, I feel strongly linked with money, career, finances of some level, whether it's a battle or whether it's to do with some level of competing for something. For those of you, this could have been a battle on health as well. That can be the energy here, in which case there's good news. You get what you want and you can finally put this difficult situation behind you. But it feels more strongly, like I said, with um, money areas. But, you know, these readings are general, so take what resonates with you. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.